reasons, you might want to create a page in Schoolbox. You might like to create a faculty page to give information about your faculty and all the subjects you can do in your faculty. You might like to create a forms and policy page, which contains all of the policy for your school and allows staff to complete forms. You might like to create a subunit page to display resources within one of your units, or you might have another idea. Whatever the page is that you would like to create, in this video you are going to learn how to create it. Let's start by navigating our way to the resources area, remembering that your school might have located this in a different space or named it something different, so if in doubt, ask your Schoolbox administration team. Once in the resources area, select the folder in which you would like to create your page. Then click Add Folder. This might be hidden behind the three dot menu depending on the size of your screen. Give your page a name, then choose a template for your page. These have been set up by your school, so you will probably have different templates to what I have. Templates are used so that you don't have to start from scratch every time that you create a page. They will contain certain components that your school suggests to use on this page. You can change the components on your page after creating it, so don't be too worried about which template you choose. As you learnt in the Understanding Resources and Permissions video, by default, your page automatically inherits the permissions that have been set for the folder above it. We recommend leaving this switched on, unless you need to set different permissions for this specific page. Once you're happy with the permissions, click Create Folder. Your page has now been created and is ready for you to customise with whatever you like. 